Spanish Simmer here and welcome back to The Sims 4 Dine Out. So as you guys remember from the last part, Millie stayed the night with her older sister and her niece and Maria actually just woke up because there's a monster under her bed. I don't know how considering um, there's drawers under her bed. So I really don't know how this monster's here. Maybe it's hiding in one of the drawers, but she came rushing in to wake Millie up. Um, so I actually wasn't gonna start this part this early, but you know, um, Maria came and woke us up. So uh, we're gonna have to go spray that monster under the bed for her because she's terrified, bless her. And hopefully now she can go sleep with her mum. And um, don't wake your mum up too. We're already taking care of it. Dude, we took care of it for you. The monster's gone. See, Millie's telling her off. It's gone. It's gone. We sprayed it. Spray it again, Millie. Just so she knows that we definitely sprayed it. There we go. There's the spray. We're spraying it. We're telling it to shoot. Are you happy now? I mean, it's gone. Her mum's awake because she just woke her up. There we go. She can breathe easy. Oh, she's coming to hug her. Oh. So cute. I love it. So we're gonna actually sleep in here considering this child won't go back to sleep in here. Um, and we do need to sleep a little bit. I've decided that we're gonna take Saturday off instead of Sunday today and uh, just play with um, Millie and these guys a little bit. I actually wanna spend the day with these two. So that's gonna be quite fun. Um, we're gonna make some breakfast for them in a little bit after Millie's just caught up on her sleep. Everyone's probably super tired considering Maria woke us all up. Oh no, I was meant to put this away, but I forgot. Um, so we're gonna have to do that. She's feeling all right now. So let's um, serve some breakfast. We will go for some pancakes for everybody. So there we go. Mill's gonna wake up and serve some pancakes for the fam. Uh, what's she watching? Oh, she's watching like, um, is this between TV? I think it might be. I'm not too sure. I think it is because he's like Justin Bieber. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's cute. I love it. <laughs> it does make me miss The Sims 3 though. I am definitely going to try to reinstall Sims 3 once I'm back from my holiday. Fingers crossed I'll be able to. I'm not too sure though. Um, so Millie's just cooking up a storm. Um, Maria's chatting away to her. So yeah, we're just going to spend the day with our sister and our niece. And then I think later on we'll actually um, go out with Maria, you know, as a single mom. I doubt she gets to go out so much because she's just been looking after Maria a lot and they've only just moved to Windenburg to be closer to Millie so that she can kind of help out with Maria and babysit when um, she needs her. You know, Jenna wants to start a social life and stuff like that. So we're definitely going to have to take up on the cool auntie role. Considering we can make such like delicious cakes and things like that, I'm sure... We will step into those shoes quite easily. So there we go. We put the pancakes away. We're going to get ready for the day. We're going to use this and um, take a brisk shower. Here we go. We're going to do that. And I don't know if these two are ready for the day, but I can't play as them. So I guess we'll never know. But uh, they're taking pictures together. And I have... Oh, I've downloaded a really cool um, like water park thing, like a community pool. So that's where we're going to be spending our day today once we have got out of the shower. Like I said, we're going to keep the, uh, the thingy closed, but uh, we are going to travel. So let's do that and we'll head to the pool. I think I put it in Oasis Springs. This is actually on the gallery. Um, it's just called Community Pool Park. I think, I can't remember who it was made by, but I can check really quickly. This is the good thing. It was made by Oddballs. So there you go. Shout out to Oddballs for making this lot. And we are going to bring along with us um, Maria and Jenna. You know what? We're also going to bring Oliver around. You know, uh, Olivier, not 
Oliver. Um, we're going to bring Olivier over and kind of introduce him to Jenna. Um, probably not the best way to introduce your new man to your sister, you know, with her niece around, but it's all good. I mean, I didn't want them going out for a meal, so I guess we'll just, uh, oh, hello, Olivier. Hopefully our sister doesn't try to make a move on you. Uh, we're gonna change into our swimwear, so let's go for this one. There we go. And, um... Yeah, everyone's kind of just chilling. We got a group going on. Which pool are they going in? Oh, that's cute. I love the detail on this lot. So this is like the kids pool. Uh, there's like a play area and stuff, but they're all just diving in here. So um, let's go uh, swim some energized laps. Let's do it. They're all in here. So we should be due. I think Olivia is about to get out, actually. Oh no, he's just swimming some laps. There's actually not a diving board here, though. Maybe this was made before um, Get Together. It probably was, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's a really cute, cool little lot. And then down here, you have like your changing rooms and stuff. Like all your showers, so you can shower off. Which is nice. Oh, look at the uh, like bottom of the kids' pool as well. That's so cute. I love that. <laughs> That's adorable. Right, where's Olivier? Um, we are gonna go and um, we're gonna go splash him. So let's go do that. You can stop swimming laps because I want you to splash him. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute, and we're gonna compliment his appearance, and also, um, what else should we do? Brighten his day a bit. He's like laughing his head off. He's so cute. I love Olivier so much. We're also gonna go, um, splash this little one, so let's go do that. Oh, we can't catch her. We're gonna splash her, and we are also, what else should we do? Oh, we can coach her in swimming! What? I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> there we go. We splashed her and she splashed us right back. Of course she did. We're feeling playful. A little water splashed around really livens things up. I want to coach her in swimming. I did not know you could do this. Was this a base game? Oh no, coach her swimming. I want you to do it. She's like, go on, you can do it. Oh no, she's like yelling at her, like full on yelling. That's so cute! Oh my god, shut up. That is adorable. Oh, she's speaking to Olivier. I hope she doesn't flirt with him. That would be so awkward. Please don't flirt. Please don't flirt. I can imagine Jenna doing that, although the sisters get on really well. Like, they're really good friends. I feel like Jenna has always been, like, the cooler older sister who, like, just flirts with all the boys and then Millie's just like, oh, I wish that was me. I don't know why, but that's kind of like the vibe that they give off. It's kind of funny. I can just imagine her flirting with Olivier and Millie just being like, why? Why do you always do this? Of course, there would be no hard feelings because it would be like a little simple flirt. It wouldn't be anything serious, but I can just imagine that happening. Like, I would laugh my ass off if it happened. We're still uh, coaching her. Great teacher. Millie is a masterful instructor whose greatest reward is the improvement of her pupils. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, oh my god, Frederick's followed us even to the pool. Are you serious? What the hell? Ah, we got an old lady here. Let's give her a cheerful intro. And um, yeah, let's give her a cheerful intro because, you know. I'm a fan of my old ladies. We do need to become friends with Vivian. Vivian is such a bae. I really want to become friends with her. So we are going to have to do that. Oh, Mortimer. Why would you wear budgie smugglers? Seriously? Oh, I did not want to imagine Mortimer Goth in bud bright green budgie smugglers. Are you kidding me? Why? Scarred for life by Mortimer Goth here. Oh, that's so gross. Blech. That's grim. Um, I wish I could play as the kid. Um, I wish I was playing as her currently. Because I would have her make friends with all these kids who have come to the pool. Um, but, oh well. 
Uh, we're going to discuss our interests with him, and we're also going to tell him an inside joke. And uh, we're going to do a swarf kiss. Let's get out of the pool and do a swarf kiss. Jenna's still just swimming around, which is nice. Um, is there, like, a barbecue here? There is a bar. Oh, there's a kitchen, so we could just, like, make some lunch or something. I was going to say, is there, like, a barbecue? There isn't actually a barbecue. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to add in... Um, some diving boards, some jumping things. Let's do this. Let's get one this end. Um, actually, we'll probably put it on the side. Um, so this is going to be the deep end. This is going to be the shallow end. So let's get one here. Yeah, let's just have one, actually. One right there. There we go. And I don't know what this pool is. No one seems to be in here, which is... Fine, I mean, we don't need to use all the pools. Um, did you suave kiss him? There we go. Have a suave kiss. There we go. Oh, Millie. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, what else should we do? Uh, compliment his appearance. He is looking fine. I wonder if his sister's had the baby yet. We should probably pop around and uh, see if she has. I really don't know if she has or not. Oh, he's holding our hands. Oh, let's watch Frederick. Please belly flop. Oh, he did a cannonball. I was hoping he was gonna like straight up belly flop. I would have laughed so hard if he had. Oh, that would have been so funny. Oh, look at our sister and our niece getting to know the people of their town. It's quite cute that they've just moved in and they're like already getting to know people. Like in a really like friendly way. Like she's talking to Molly who looks exactly the same as Elsa <laughs> literally looks like the same person um oh and we're talking to Jenna um why don't we what should we do um have a deep conversation with her see what she feels about Oliver um actions we are going to oh can we ask about someone um, we're not gonna ask her to move in. Other Sims, we're gonna ask about Olivier. Let's see how she feels about him. Uh, where is he? Ask her about Olivier's cell. Let's do it. Let's see what she says. Uh, whilst he's right behind her, of course she's gonna do it. Millie, you have like no social cues, I swear. Oh, there was a thumbs down there. Does she not like him? Honestly, I don't really like Olivier. <gasps> Uh oh, that's not good. Splashed. Hey, watch where you're splashing. Your sim just got water in their high. Uh oh, she doesn't like him. Oh no, that's a bad sign. When your sister doesn't like the person you're with. I don't know. I feel like that's a terrible sign. Uh oh. Oh no, that's that's bad. I was hoping she was gonna say like, oh yeah, I really like him, you know, he seems like a nice guy. But no, it wasn't the case. Uh-oh, that's terrible. Oh God, I don't know what to do. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's cute. This is like a little lifeguard area. That's adorable. Oh man, I don't know what to think of that. Oh, she's really tired. Maybe we should send her to sleep. I mean, I did want to go out with her mum anyway and kind of go to a bar. So, I mean, I guess she can... Uh... Oh, are they those two going? I think they're leaving the group. <gasps> Olivier's leaving because she said she didn't like him. Uh-oh, that's so bad. Yeah, she's leaving because she's knackered. Um, but Jenna's still with us. So we're actually going to have a little girl's night at the bar with our big sister. So I think we're just going to travel now, to be honest. We can eat at the... Um, we might even go, like, clubbing, clubbing. Like, we might go to the discotheque. We might do, like, the whole pre-drinks at a bar in Windenburg. You know, she has just moved into Windenburg. So I feel like we should get to know the area a bit. Um, so we are going to head... Um, we're going to head on over to the Old Quarter Inn. Yeah, and then we're going to head to the discotheque. So, yep, just our sister. I wanted to make sure that Olivier wasn't joining us, considering it is a sisterly thing going on. So here we go. We arrived at the 
bar and we're gonna go order a drink for the group and what should we get what should we start our night off with why don't we start it off with a nice white wine um so here we go we're gonna go for the granite falls grapple blanco get some uh white wine up in here where did you get that dirty dish from is that from your inventory that's so weird so there we go we ordered some wine there's one um oh you're only gonna make one jenna's so gonna steal that uh let's order another one i guess um order another white wine that's so annoying like why did she only make one i have no idea but let's get a second one there we go now we're drinking our wine, having a sisterly night. Ooh. We're gonna tell her a knock-knock joke and um, give her a heartfelt compliment. We're also going to um, discuss our interests, of course. It's been a while since we caught up with her, you know. I'm glad that they've moved in uh, quite close to us though. We really can be the cool auntie and just offer Jenna a helping hand when she, whenever she needs it. I mean, it's a chance for her to let her hair down and that's why we decided, that's why I decided to spend the day with her, you know, just hanging out, having a girly day. We should probably go to a spa one day as well. I, I think in the next part, I'm gonna have Millie join um, the club, uh, the foodie club, because I really think she would get on well with those, the one that like Mila munches in and stuff like that, so I think I am gonna have her join that club within the next part, and uh, cause she's, she's feeling really bored, she always has like the insider thing, like she wants to be part of a club, um, so we are gonna do that, obviously she has her employee club, but we don't really hang out with them too much, um, we actually need some to switch some funds over so i'm gonna change over like 300 confirm that transfer so that we can order some food let's get a um we're gonna go just for some french fries hopefully this chick will give us some there we go she did uh let's grab a serving together eat our french fries come on girls you gonna grab a serving of french fries? There we go. She had to, she had to finish her wine first, you know, priorities. <laughs> oh man, she's become a wine mum before her time of becoming a mum. That's so funny. <laughs> Where's Jenna? Has she just gone to the toilet? Has Jenna left? What? Jenna, get back here. Invite her to hang out at the current lot. Why did she leave? I wanna like party it up with her. But she just left. Jenna will be right over. Okay, good. Yeah, she's back. That's what I like to see. Uh, we also need to change our outfit. Um, get changed into... You know what? We're gonna go for this outfit. Uh, she's eating her things. We're gonna go to the loo and then it's time for the discotheque. Let's go party in. Hopefully Jenna won't leave. Um, she's kind of just watching TV at the moment. Um, doesn't look like she's gonna leave. She's feeling happy. Uh, these aromas allow the nose to paint a beautiful scene of rolling sunny hills where this nectar originated. So she's feeling happy due to her drink. You're about to feel 10 times happier. This is the first time, like, Millie's gone properly clubbing. Like, we've had a couple of parties, but never anything where she's just been drinking a lot. I really wish we had the juice feature. I would love it if Sims 4, Sims could, uh, dance on the counters. Obviously, that was added in late night in the sims 3 so i don't know if it's going to be added into an expansion with sims 4 but i really like that little feature i just thought it was so much fun like getting juiced and then being able to do that i thought it was really funny so we're gonna go order our favorite drink from the bartender and then i think we're just gonna get to dancing really um frederick is still following us the only place he hasn't visited that we visited was that bar that we went to for pre-drinks. That's the only place. He's so stalking us. Have you ordered this? Hopefully you have. Um, there we go. I think this is our drink. So she's going to go drink that. And uh, let's um, go dance together. Get dancing on the dance floor, girls. Go on. That's why we came. Right, stop chatting. And go dance on the dance floor. Except there's no DJ. Where's the DJ gone? 
Okay, here we go. The headline DJ has arrived, so that's good. All right, come on. Dance together. There we go. I love how she's just wearing like mum jeans and like a really baggy t-shirt to a, um, a club. Like she doesn't even care. I love it. <laughs> she's just like, yeah, I'm a mum. So what? This is how I dress. <laughs> I love that so much. We're going to joke about old times and, um, oh, we're going to ask her for a small loan, um, which we aren't going to do, but it's handy to know in the future. I mean, I don't think she has too much money considering she's a single mum and they've just moved house. So she probably doesn't have too much money yet. But I mean, if we're struggling with the cafe at any time, it's nice that we have our sister around to give us a helping hand, just like we're going to be giving her a helping hand. So that's always good. We're going to express our admiration, you know. Doing that all these years. Oh, Pancake Bob's breaking it down. That was really good dancing, actually, Bob. I'm, like, proud of you. Check him. I just want to watch Pancake Bob right now. He's loving life. Yeah, go on, Bob. Feel the music. Get into it, dude. He's like, oh, man. I can't even hear the music. <laughs> um, yeah, I never turn my music on on The Sims 4, so I can never hear what my Sims are dancing to, but it's quite funny. A foodie Sim only enjoys truly inspired drinks. This is not one of those. That's awkward. She's writing a uh, critical review of the uh, discotheque. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, who else is here? We got Candy, Wakeen. Um, oh, look who just walked in. This is Melinda. This is the girl who owns the restaurant that we visited in the last part. Um, we're gonna go... I don't know if I want Millie to be mean. I don't feel like it's in her to be mean, even to a competitor. So, um, we're gonna go give her a friendly intro. I mean, why not? Let's go do that. Let's go give her a friendly one. I mean, I don't know. I feel like we can't be rude straight off the bat. But yes, this is Melinda Wilson. She's one of your sims that you created. And she owns the restaurant that, um, that we went to in the last part. That's what I was trying to think about. Uh, we're going to complain about the like, local youths. Why not? Uh, which pretty much means about you. And we're also going to chat about property values, you know, kind of kind of trying to suss Melinda out here. I don't know. I feel like we should. I mean, I might be a little bit mischievous. Um, oh man, we could trash another sim. We aren't going to do that. There's no one I want to trash. So uh, let's, let's not trash another sim. She's like, blah, blah, blah. You guys are so boring. Oh, go Jenna. Whipping out the dance moves. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, man. Oh, Millie's gone for a nap, so she clearly wants to go home. So I'm going to end this part here, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this part of Dine Out. I had so much fun in this part. Like, that was so much fun just to have a girly day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Do leave your comments and suggestions down below and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys!